yes a recording started uh, you can start thank you yeah thank you hey hi everyone uh, good morning and uh, welcome to microsoft viva days 2023 edition and uh, this throughout entire day we are going to talk about viva okay so we, we know that across the globe millions have transitioned to uh, remote working over the past years and even right now the organizations are finding ways of how, how to make this new world of work more sustainable for their people right so in this uh, session we, we are going to talk more about viva connection so that we can enable the employee experience platform for for our employees all right so moving ahead with that uh, so th this is kind of a one day virtual event so do attend all of the uh, sessions and even you stand a chance to be a goodie all right, so the agenda that we are going to cover in this session is that we are just going to have a quick uh, overview of Microsoft Viva Connections. I, I know most of you must have been configured Viva Connections, but we are just going to uh, quickly talk about what is meant by Viva Connections and then again, what are the multiple ways in which you can configure Viva Connections? Because in the past, it was very much dependent on SharePoint that you need to uh, go ahead, create a SharePoint home site, and then only you are able to proceed with Viva Connections. But right now there are various uh, changes happening and then again we have got uh, new viva connection experience coming with home site base as well as the new home experience that, that we are going to discuss about and then we will also see practically how you can go ahead and create your new viva connections experience and and then again we will more of talk about um, how to extend this entire viva connections uh, experience into the sharepoint framework and again now uh, when it comes to showcasing your content to your uh, users obviously there is a curated as well as the tailored experience that that we need to think about right so um so th th that is all th that we are going to uh, cover up so before we start the session a uh, quick introduction uh, myself nandadeep nachan i am microsoft mvp for m65 apps and services as well as business applications uh, I'm, I'm from pune india and uh, author of uh, three books th that you can see on the screen including sharepoint uh, hybrid technology with uh, sharepoint uh, 2019 as well as Viva connection. So uh, if in case you want to get in touch with me, uh, there, there are social media handlers as well. So uh, please get in touch with me uh, for, for any discussion. And with me today is Smita. Hello, myself Smita Nachan. I am from Pune, India. I'm a Microsoft MVP, MC, MCT, and I'm an author of a couple of books. And these are some of my social handles by which you can get in touch with me. All right, so with that, let's get started and uh, quickly have the uh, overview of Microsoft Viva connections. All right, so we, we know that we Microsoft Viva is kind of a suite uh, that comes with various models of Microsoft Viva, including connection, learning, and, and many more, so that we can enable a, a based kind of an employee engaging experience to our users. Okay, and Microsoft Viva connection is one of that, and which is free one. So Microsoft Viva connections is kind of in your gateway to the modern employee experience and it is designed to keep everyone engaged as well as informed. So this Viva Connections is kind of a customizable app in Microsoft Teams that surface your SharePoint home site uh, as well as relevant news and conversations. Even you can have a dashboard, you can place cards on top of it so that uh, so that your employees can get engaging kind of an experience, right? And then this Microsoft Viva Connection also provide the curated kind of an employee experience. So we, we are going to talk about what is meant by curated uh, employee experience, but just to start with, it also provides the curated uh, employee experience, which surfaces relevant content, for example, news, announcement, communications, uh, conversations to the employees. And this makes uh, employee experience very much engaging and informative. So um, it, it is kind of a very much exciting time to reimagine the workplace as a digital experience rather than a physical place, right? So this hybrid uh, digital experience is uh, more of people-centric, inclusive, and flexible. And when it comes to uh, setting up the Viva connection, so let's move ahead and see like what are the ways in which uh, we can go ahead and set up those Viva connections. Right, so as you can see on the screen, this, this one is the home based experience, which is a traditional SharePoint home site based experience. But when it comes for setting up the Viva connections at your organizations, you have two choices to set it up from. So first one is a traditional SharePoint home site based experience, where uh, we, we have to uh, go ahead and set up the SharePoint site uh, to, to start with. And then from there, we can go ahead and set up the Viva connection kind of an experience for, for our users. Uh, but no nowadays, like uh, even that, that is not entirely needed. Uh, even you can uh, you, you can have uh, 
Viva connections kind of an uh, setup done without having the uh, SharePoint site itself. So again, uh, in the past, I had got one experience wherein we, we were kind of uh, uh, creating or setting up the experience, Viva connection experience for one of our customers. But uh, miss setting up the Viva connection experience is just uh, 10 minutes of job. But when it comes to the business, when it comes to uh, showcasing or surfacing the information uh, or on top of what you want to show, but definitely the things are not straightforward. You need to have multiple approvals. Uh, and again, uh, you need to work with a lot many content authors. But this new kind of an Viva connection home experience, it, it will take away all of those buttons because there itself you don't need any SharePoint site to be set up, but you can directly go ahead, set up this new Viva connection home experience, which does not need setting up any of the SharePoint home site. All right, so let's move ahead with that. Um, All right, so now, now that uh, the other thing is, uh, um, oh, sorry, okay, can we move to the next slide, please? Yeah, so this one is the new Viva Connection home based experience, wherein uh, we just need to go ahead, set up the Viva Connections uh, without having any kind of an uh, SharePoint site setup. And, and then Smita can walk you through uh, how, how we can go ahead and set it up. Yeah, so this new Viva Connection Home Experience to desktop has started to roll out in a targeted release tenants, and this new experience take it easy to roll out Viva Connection without having to set up the SharePoint home site. So with the new Viva Connection Home Experience, you no more need to set up the SharePoint home site when added. The new experience is ready to use with branding, a dashboard, and a resources. So there are few points we have to consider. So if you already have the Viva connection set up with the home site. The new home design will use the same content without any additional configuration needed, and the cards on the dashboard will be used from the previous configuration home site. The resources will be used from the previous configuration of home site, and the audience targeting on the dashboard card and the resources will be used from the previous configuration size. So let's say this one by one, it's about the assigning the uh, content author. So one needs a member level or higher level permission to edit a new desktop experience. So let me go and show you that. So on the right top corner, we have this manage access. And from here, we can just grant access to other users to manage the new desktop experience. So you can just provide the uh, name and from here you can just provide the access for them. Then we have owner members and visitors over here. All are the groups available. So owner full control can edit all the content and permission settings. Then the member is having a limited control can edit the content in the dashboard and the navigation and visitors can only view the content so we can just provide a unique branding experience also and to provide a unique branding experience you can use a background image for the new experience and for that purpose you have to click on the edit and then you have to select this change image from here to select your branding image, then this will give you this file selection dialogues experience as in a SharePoint to select the image from the stock images, web search, one drive, SharePoint site, or upload an image. So once you upload an image, you can do this repositioning a focal point also. Let me check any of the image. And then from here, you can just do this this repositioning of the focal point to adjust it better, and then you can just Click save also. So then the next thing is about the setup of the dashboard. So these dashboards help you to place the cards for your employees to manage their work better. So by clicking this next uh, edit available to the next, you can just uh, set up this dashboard. And it will take you to the dashboard page where you can just add a multiple card to the dashboard for a desktop as well as for the mobile experience. So from here you can see this is the mobile as well as the desktop experience. And from here you can just add a more card. So adding a card and everything we will check later. And then after that you can just set up a resource. So resources define your navigation and wayfinding and clicking the edit on the resources. Will help you to customize your navigation. So from here, you can just adjust your navigations also. 
you can just add a link label and you can just provide all the details so it will get added so you can choose the home site or a new home experience and these are some of the commands we have provided we can provide the same in a chat window also then you can just prepare the content for your feed so you can just show the content from the sharepoint yammer and the stream and you can just fetch it and show it on a feed so when it's come to the sharepoint you can just show the new post from the home site new post from organizational news site new post from the frequently visited and followed sites boosted news from the followed SharePoint site and from the Yammer you can just post all the company community announcement from all com company community feature post on public communities post from followed company communities and then the streams are you can just show from the streams that the videos from the streams video new links from the organizational news sites and the videos embedded in the news feed. So now let's see this uh, curated versus Taylor experience. All right. So before we uh, move into the curated versus uh, the customized kind of an experience, I, I just want to move back into the history and just wanted to uh, compare like um, how this experience was supposed to be with the previous experience. So for, for example, uh, for few of uh, who few of you few who have uh, created the Viva connection kind of an experience with SharePoint home site, it was kind of a uh, very, very tedious process uh, and roughly it, it involved around eight kind of an steps, right? So it was kind of a traditional way to set up the Viva connection uh, th that included almost eight steps, including business as well as with the IT, right? So uh, if you remember, so if you want to have the traditional kind of a setup done with Viva connections, the uh, home site is the must one. So firstly that you must have to prepare your modern SharePoint internet by ensuring the internet content as well as the flow of information is in order. And then you need to set up your home site, which is kind of a SharePoint communication site that acts as a front door for your organization's internet. And then it has got uh, special capabilities. Uh, for, for example, uh, prioritize, prioritizing your news, uh, posting from the home site uh, across the rest of the internet and, and all those kind of things. And when you deploy this traditional Viva connection, uh, your SharePoint home site becomes the uh, internet landing experience inside the Microsoft Teams. So that, that was an entirely tedious process. Again, uh, optionally, you can uh, go ahead and set up the app bar as well as global navigation. So this app bar allows uh, users to find important content and resources as well as dynamically display personalized sites, news and files. And Viva connection uses element from the SharePoint app bar and global navigation for the desktop as well as mobile uh, experience. And then the next step was to set up your uh, dashboards and card that enables you to create curated experience using dashboard card that gives uh, employees access to their most critical content as well as tools that they can use in, in their day-to-day uh, -day life. And then uh, you can prepare that content uh, for, for your feed in the Viva connection. So user can see the feed that is uh, personalized with relevant content personalized to them. And for the best engaging experience, uh, you need to use the feeds from SharePoint News, Yammer community, as well as videos from stream. And stream here are specifically talking about stream on SharePoint. And then again, uh, there was additional steps needed to uh, add this app into the Microsoft Teams. So your uh, Microsoft Teams administrator can help you to customize the app. Uh, they, they can set up the permission policies, set up policies to launch this Viva connection as an app inside Microsoft Teams. And then lastly, you can choose the mobile settings and then uh, you can define your dashboard, you can define your feeds, you can define your resources. And then in the last, you can launch that with your end user. So th that was kind of a very tedious process, a time consuming process. Um, as I said again, like uh, technically it, it is not a big process, maybe just 10 minutes and you can directly start working with your Viva connection. But for example, if you see it from the uh, business point of view, in that case, th there were too many parameters uh, needed and then obviously it was a time consuming process. But with this new home, ex home experience, even though you're not pretty much sure like uh, from where to start, you're probably you're not even ready with your SharePoint content. Not to worry, you can still uh, get started and then at least have this uh, new Viva home site experience ready. For, for your organization, right? So now that before we go into uh, uh, curated versus uh, kind of an other experience, 
I just want to quickly uh, dis discuss about like uh, why we uh, need to have all those uh, kind of things, right? So firstly, like um, uh, whenever we are creating the new Viva connection experience, like then why should we uh, set it up? And then what are the considerations that we, we need to go ahead and set it up? So setting up the uh, Viva connections only takes a few steps, but there are some considerations to think through uh, with the other stakeholders at your organizations before you get starting do doing that. So first thing is that consider the type of experience that is best for your organizations. So you can create a standalone Viva connection experience or you can create a connections of experience that also builds off the existing internet portal or SharePoint home site. So with the um, Viva uh, suit kind of a uh, license that you have got, at this point of time, even you can create 10 such Viva connection experiences to get started. And then you can create a single connection experience for your uh, entire organization and dashboard cards, which are targeted to specific audiences. For example, centralized HR communication or maybe for admin. And then you can create a multiple experiences that meet uh, needs of a distinct audience. For example, a separate content for frontline workers uh, or maybe a subsidiary is needing separate content uh, and branding, all those kind of use cases. But just one thing is that keep in mind that uh, if you are if you are planning for multiple experiences with overlapping content, uh, each experience will need to be uh, updated separately. So uh, learn more about how you can plan, build and launch your Viva connections by having more conversation with your stakeholders, with your business partners and then, then move ahead. Uh, again, for example, once you are done with that, uh, the next critical step is to decide which audiences should be associated with each experience. So you can create uh, more than one connection um, in your organization. Uh, for example, if you have a need to do so for the different different employee experiences for distinct um, audiences. And, and then again, um, that, that should be uh, associated with a specific audience. And you will want to consider the um, order of experiences that should be seen for uh, audiences that may belong to more than one experience. Okay, so the main thing here is like uh, think about should have owner permissions to each of those experiences that that we have got. So owners have full uh, kind of a permission to edit the experience as well as manage the access for other users. And as a best practice, it is always recommended that each experience has a minimum of two owners assigned to it, right? So for example, if someone departs, at least other can take over that uh, responsibility. And then you, you will have the continued employee engaging experience for your users. So then pick up the icon uh, the, and the name for your app. So choose the app icon and the name to apply your entire uh, connection app so that your people should feel connected by looking at that um, icon or maybe uh, the branding that you are using. So the, uh, it should have some kind of a connected feeling. So this icon and label will display as an app in the uh, Teams app bar. And again, consider what the right branding elements are for your organization and then go ahead with that. So you will also want to pick up a name that aligns with your organization brand and there is also meaningful and uh, recognizable to your users because when they will go ahead in, uh, in in the teams and launch the Viva connection experience, obviously that is the name as well as the icon and branding with which they are going to recognize that Viva connection experience. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, over to Smita then for for the demo of how you can go ahead and set up that Viva connections in the Microsoft Exchange Five Admin Center. Yes, so we are already inside this Microsoft Admin Center and we have to follow the some of the steps to access the Viva connection in the Microsoft Admin Center. And for that, first we have to navigate to this admin.microsoft.com. And once you are here, then you have to click on the setup that is available here. And once you click on the setup, then inside the future collections, you have to select the Microsoft Viva. Once it is there, then you have to select the Viva connection to open the Viva connections admin center. And now from here, you can see the create and manage the Viva connection experience. So once you are here, you can see we have already created uh, in the past two are already there. So let's create uh, one more. 
for the demo. So once you clicked on the create, it is giving you this experience type. So the create a new experience that the admins will able to create a multiple standalone experiences as well as internet home sites having their own Viva connection experiences. As a result, there are now two options to create a new experience. First one is a creating a connection experience and another one is built from an existing intranet folder. So let's see first one that is a create a connection experience. So this option is the fastest way to get started. It creates a standalone out of the box connection experience as an app in Teams without the need for an existing intranet portal. So a special site container will be created where the dashboard resources and overall Viva home experience are hosted and sourced from. So the owners can then be adding their own content and intranet portal can be added at any time and designated as a home site. The second one is building from an existing portal to set a home site. So this option is ideal for the organizations that already have a SharePoint communication sites and would like to use their own content or would like to add an intranet portal that includes the connection components that can easily be extended to the web. So these options create a new connection experience and automatically designates the communication site as a home site intranet portal and has displays the navigation elements and shares the permissions. So let's go ahead and create this one. So let me give a name. Viva days. Now it will check if it's already available or not. It's not. So that's why it is just provided as a site URL over here. You can just provide a description and then you can just select the language and the time zone. Once it is there, then you can just click on the next button over here. You can see again the options to edit the name before creating that experience, edit the description and edit the settings. It will take you to that previous page only and once you clicked on the create experience, it will create that experience for you. And once it is done, then we can just uh, assign uh, permissions for that. So over here you can see the permissions so you can just manage the permissions from here managing a SharePoint. So assign two or more owners to each experience so that they will have a full access to edit the experience and manage the permissions and access for others. And then we have a designated audiences also. So decide which Azure Active Directory security group or Microsoft 365 group should be associated with each Viva connection experience. And then you can just enable currently you can see it is in draft mode so you can just enable that one also so it will be available for the everyone. So to enable each Viva connection experience and to make it visible for the audiences. So you have to first click select this Viva connection experience and then you have to go inside this general tab. And in the general tab you have to click on this edit status and from here you can just uh, click this enable experience and then you have to click on the save button. So now you can see the experience status is enabled. So if it's in draft mode, then the reader will not able to see that. And then from here you can just click on the change order and you can just drag drop and you can just change that order also for this Viva connection experience. So coming back to our curated versus tailored experience. So Viva connection presents option to create a both the curated as well as the tailored experience for the content creator. The curated experience can be pushed to users by the site owner or by the authors and the site owners can use this audience targeting to target the content for users and the SharePoint home site dashboard and the resources are the example of a curated experience and in a tailored experience the content is prepared to the users based on the communities or the sites they follow in a SharePoint uh, group permissions in Yammer or a popular content. A feed is an example of the tailored content. Then this is we have already explained and this this is the anatomy of a dashboard. So the dashboard is a made up of medium size and a large size and the cards which users can interact with get information or complete a task 
we will show you how the dashboard look. We have already added some of the cards for you so users can select the cards or click the buttons on the cards to do some of the things like displaying a quick view with some of the more information and you can just have some of the input form also navigating to the, any of the SharePoint page, accessing any of the Teams app and accessing a site in a browser. So you can see what are the sources to acquire a card. So we already have some of the first party apps available. Then we have uh, partner solutions. The SharePoint store is also available. The Microsoft app source is available and then we have a uh, custom apps also. So over here you can see how this implementation of card looks. So there are three types. You have a no code, low code or the custom code. So let's go back in our Viva and I can just show you from here. Now from here I'm just switching the experience where we have added more cards for you. So over here you can see these are the dashboard and these are all the available cards. And as we mentioned that there is a no code that is the first party. So you can just edit. And then you can just add a card. So from here you can just go for this no code that is the first party and over here you can just add some of the low code also. So there are the card designer available. Let me take you the one which we have already added for this scuba diving. So over here you can see the template you want to choose. So you can just choose a template. Then you can just choose the card size. Then there is a card content available. You can select the you can provide a, time, a title and then this icon option is available. You can provide a heading custom image. You can just again come back and change the images and over here in the action part you have to mention all these details that OK, what are the type of actions you are going to have with this card? So like in our case we have just mentioned go to a link and then you can just provide a go to a Teams app, show the quick view, select a media. Also you can select the location from map. These things you can do from here and then if you're saying that go to the link, then you have provided a link. Then if you want to provide any of the primary button for the button action then you can just keep it as, as on then there is a title and there is an action and once you come over here over here you can just provide your template json and the data json and then if you want to target any of the audiences then in that case you can just provide a groups over here and then we can have this our custom code also so that can be done in a SPFX. We will show in the next slide. So before that going into the custom code, we would like to go ahead and explain you what are the SPFX experience in M365. So when it's come to the Microsoft Teams, you can build a Microsoft Teams tab. You can build a Microsoft Teams personal app. SPFX web part as a Microsoft Teams messaging extension, Microsoft Teams meeting apps and for, for the SharePoint you can build a web parts extension library components and the Viva connection. You can build the dashboard cards and for the Outlook web you can also have this add ins. So to build a rich experience in SPFX we have this cards available that is the basic card template image card template and a primary card uh, and a primary text template and all the details are provided on this link. So we will share this link with you. So you will get also the more idea about this one. So this is how you can just do this SPFX project scaffolding. So once you provide this command, you iterate Microsoft SharePoint, then it will ask you for this more information over here while creating this one it is you can just provide a solution name then the which type of client side components you want to create so uh, we are just mentioning the adaptive card extension which template you would like to use so whatever we have provided the details over here this is the basic card template image card template and primary text template so basic basic card is only having some of the text and the details of the buttons over here then the image you can just add some of the images and the primary card you can just add some of the more updates over here so from here while creating this one 
it is giving you option and as per that you can just select that which template do you want to use so now let's go ahead and see how we can just build this simple adaptive card extension with spfx so we already have one uh, project ready with us so before that i would like to give some of the introduction to you so developer can extend the microsoft viva connection for building engaging experience with the widely adopted sharepoint framework that is spfx and spfx version 1.13 introduce support for building a solution to customize and extend the Microsoft Viva connection. So the adaptive card extensions are a new SharePoint framework component type, which enables the developers to build a rich native extension to Viva connection dashboard and SharePoint pages. So this adaptive card extension uses this adaptive card framework with declarative JSON schema to generate a UI so the developer can focus on the business logic rather than thinking of the complex JSON built on their own. So this adaptive card extension supports the list of the templates which I've showed you over here. Like a basic card template, image card template and the primary text template. So let's go in our project. So at the top we have this config folder which contains all of the configuration related to the project and then we have a SRC which contains all of our source code. Then down we have the files like a Gulf file and a package JSON. OK, so in the source control, we have got two things. One is the card view and then another one is the quick view. So the card view is the view. So when you add a card on the dashboard, it gets displayed and it can have a button and from the click of the button, you can invoke a quick view. So first thing, over here in the car view is the property pane. So for example, if you want to uh, create some of the customized property for the functionality of your extension, then you can just add over here. Then we have got this card extension dot TX. Just a moment, my machine is hanging. So this is a kind of an entry point for your card and all of your cards you have got you need to register over here. So you can see that we have registered the card view and a quick view over here. So if you scroll down in this init method. So you can see we have a card view and a quick view register. And in if in case if you can create your own card and a quick views, you have to get them registered over here. Then we have got the method load property. Panel resources. Over here to load the property pane, then we have the next method called a render card. So in this method, you can define which card you want to render. Since in this solution, we have just got one card, so we are uh, retaining that card. That means when this card will be placed on the dashboard this card view will be shown. So now let's go to this card view. So in this card view we just got this card view dot TX. So this card contains the state as well as the properties. So in this case what we do so for this example we are referring to one of the SharePoint list and all of the items we are going to show one by one on this card view. So based on the number of list of the items we generating this button randomly. And then we have got the data so we are showing all of the data from the SharePoint list. So now let's go to this quick view. So on the quick view, it contains the two things, the quick view code and the template.json. Over here, there is a template.json and this is the quick view what TS. So in a quick view, again, we are referring to the state and again, we are simply loading the information into the template that we have defined in this JSON file. So 
This is the JSON we have got and wherein we are defining the data as well as one of the items from the SharePoint list and then we are showing that them into the columns. So this is how you can just build. This is a short introduction about how you can just uh, have your. Uh, you can just build your rich experience with the SPFX. And then there are some of the advanced capabilities also. Also, you can just provide a geolocation. And these are some of the resources where you can just refer this some more details about related to the Viva, Microsoft Viva, overview of the Viva connection, and there are Microsoft Learn all resources available to extend the Microsoft Viva connection, how you can just configure the Viva connection for Microsoft Teams desktop, how you can just build this adaptive card extension with SPFX and the PNP Viva connection, adaptive card extension, sample repository. So with that, we would like to give our special thanks once again to all of our sponsors and we are ready for the questions. Thank you, Smita uh, and then for your valuable uh, time and uh, we, we learned a lot. There are lots of new things we learned. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much for thank having you. us.